actually my first YouTube video, so we'll see how this goes. But I just wanted to show you some of the products that I recently bought for my skincare. I'm really trying to change things up a bit. Um, I just graduated college actually, and throughout that time, I had a lot of issues with my acne, mostly from just stress and hormones. And so, as you can see, it left behind a lot of scars on my cheeks and on my chin. So I'm really looking uh, to see if these products are going to be able to help me. I've never used or invested in nice products before, so this could be a complete game changer for me. So we'll see. First thing that I wanted to find was just an everyday face wash. Um, right now, I use the simple clean and clear that you can get at CVS or Walmart for like $10 or whatever. Um, and so I wanted to replace that with something that was going to be 100% gluten free. Um, I haven't mentioned before, but I do have celiac disease. So this is something that I do have to pay attention to. So the first one is the Pacifica face wash. If you can see, it's a sea foam complete face wash. And it goes on very light and once you rub it in, it kind of like foams up. It contains a lot of antioxidants and sea algae complex. It also says it has coconut water and it can be used as a makeup remover. So that was something that I thought was pretty cool. I, you don't have to get out of the shower and use another makeup wipe. You can just use it. It's like a two-in-one type thing. I really wanted to try that out. It's also 100% vegan and cruelty free if that's something that you are looking for in a product. The next thing that I wanted to get was a facial scrub just so I could get something that was more like exfoliate maybe two or three times a week. Um, my skin is something that like if it dries out, it falls off <laughs> and, dry and um, starts peeling very easily. So I wanted to get something that I trusted and this specific product is actually an award-winning product so it's called the Acure brilliantly brightening let's see if you, I can zoom in brilliantly brightening facial scrub and there was actually a girl in Whole Foods while I was there and she actually recommended this to me I had the charcoal mask in my hand originally because I wanted to give that a shot but then she she was like no 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 this is like the product that you should use she said she's tried everything in the store and this is her favorite product by far and this one is actually only $9.99 um, so it's a really good deal as well hopefully um, I end up liking it hopefully it, it cleans out my pores the way I'm looking for the third product that I ended up buying was the Trilogy balancing face lotion so it comes in this box And the bottle looks like this. This one was a little bit more expensive. I ended up spending $48.99 on this. I've always had a face lotion that's been kind of like chunky and makes my skin a little bit cakey. So I really wanted to find a product that I could put on. It came on smoothly and then I could put my makeup over and it wouldn't give me that greasy complexion. So this one actually, you only need about one pump and you put it on and it tightens your skin and goes on very lightly. So the one that I had before was the Neutrogena and it just kind of went on very thick and I, I just couldn't stand it. So this one's really good so far. I've put makeup on top of it and it works really well. It's actually recommended for people who are looking to uh, have a lotion underneath your makeup. So then my last product that I ended up buying was a foundation, which is something that I desperately needed because I've been using cheap products for my whole life. I basically use the L'Oreal foundation that you can get at CVS or whatever. And um, I just cake it on and it's basically full coverage, but it doesn't last very long and you can definitely tell that I'm wearing makeup. So I wanted to kind of transition into something that was a little bit more natural trying to fix up my skin so that you can see my natural glow instead of um, looking so dull and pale, if you know what I mean. So I ended up going with the Mineral Fusion right here. And I got the Olive 3 because I do have like a green undertone, I don't know if you can tell, a green undertone on my skin. And so this one actually ended up matching perfectly. I have it on right now. You can still see some of my scars, but um, it matches pretty well and it does a really good job of covering um, 
the way that I'm looking for because I really want my skin to kind of glow through the makeup. So this is something that I'll be giving a shot for a while and hopefully it doesn't um, end up caking, but I'll definitely check in and let you guys know um, how I end up liking these products. I'm really gonna try and put a focus on having a better skincare routine. I wanna make sure I'm going to bed with a clean face, waking up with a clean face, um, and making sure I'm putting on products that are going to be benefiting it instead of um, using chemicals that are just going to be ultimately hurting it. Um, I might be saving a few dollars, but it's really doing nothing for my skin, and I think it's really time for me to start paying attention to this as I go into the next um, chapter of my life. So that's all I wanted to share for today. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel below. I really appreciate it, and I'm hoping to start posting a lot more videos so I could really use your support. So.